Want the best results from your laser scans and laser scan registrations? Here's five simple do's and don'ts. Using a pencil and a sheet of paper, create yourself a scan map where you'll mark out each scan location. The scan map can be used to keep track of which areas have been scanned, and when you're ready to begin your scan alignment, a scan map is an excellent reference for knowing which scans connect or have overlapping data. Before you press start on your scanner, look to see if there are any doors that may need to be opened. Because this door was closed, the blue scan taken in the hallway was unable to see inside the room to the left. Fortunately, the door was left open for the red scan, which provided enough overlap to align these two scans together. Here's another example, but this time the doors have been opened. If possible, keep yourself and others out of the scan. Here we see a technician in training standing in the doorway. This blocks the scanner's view of the room behind him. So remember, a scanner can only capture what it can see, and in most cases your best scan registrations will have unobscured overlapping data between scans. Each color here represents a different scan. Above the conveyor belt, I want you to take a look at the pipe. Its position is different in each scan. Every item captured by your laser scanner is going to be useful in the registration process. Therefore, it's important that the location of each item matches from one scan to the next. When objects are moved, a scan registration will have a harder time finding exact matches between scans. What we're looking at here is the seam of the scan. The seam is where the beginning and end of the scan come together. As you can see, we have an offset, meaning the beginning and end are not the same. Now there are times a bad seam such as this is caused by the scanner requiring calibration but it can also be the result of the laser scanner moving during the scanning cycle. So before you push start on your scanner, give it a moment to settle in place and avoid placing it on soft ground or vibrating walkways, as each of those can cause the scan to have different beginning and ending positions, which will affect the quality of your scan.